Looks like he's back in black. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transform Element TEO1B Op Leader. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front, uh, we have some lovely artwork of TEO1B. This is the Black Nemesis version of Optimus Prime. Op Leader, metal deformation on the side of the box. We have Op Leader on the other side of the box. TEO1B Op Leader, warning, don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. On the top. Just more warning, don't eat anything in this box. Again, just don't, just don't do it. Up top, up leader. On the back of the box, we have your obligatory product shots. This, that, the other thing, stuff, stuff, things. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have TEO1B Op Leader. And this is the obligatory Nemesis Prime repaint of their Optimus Prime. Now, full disclosure, this is a review sample that was sent to me. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten it because I'm not that into Nemesis Primes. But hey, I really like this figure, so I have no problem taking another look at it. So here is Nemesis Prime, all Nemesis-y looking. Let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. We have some lovely blood red transclearant plastic there for the windshields. And the whole cab, as you can see, done in black and a gunmetal gray. Be all done in silver, headlights done in silver, the windshield wipers done in silver, silver trim around the windshields. Got the little teal lights up top, done in nice metallic paints. Got the side view mirrors, this window right here, painted in red. And all the same details that were on the original figure. And you can see there the tail lights just done in that gunmetal gray. And there's the top, there's the bottom, the wheels are a nice hard rubber, and it does roll as rolling things should, hooray for rolling. And for comparison, uh, here it is with MP10, and here it is with Transform Elements, original colored. Op Leader. As you can see, it's the exact same toy, the only difference is just in the coloration. So accessory-wise, as far as truck mode goes, you do get uh, this bit right here, which allows you to plug on MP10's trailer, and it just plugs in right back here again, just like it did on the original figure. Just tabs right in, like so, and then you can bring in the MP10 trailer, and it just tabs right in, and voila, you got some nice towage going on there. You got that full rotation. And everything, um, obviously if you want this to look right, you might want to get a black trailer for it, but this is the only one I have, so this is what I'm going to use just for the sake of demonstration. But again, it can tow an MP10 trailer if you wish. But that is it for the truck mode. All the other accessories are for robot mode. So speaking of robot mode, let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> you actually can spin them pretty well with rubber tires. But first thing we need to do is we need to remove this back piece here, put that off the side. We don't need that no more. And the transformation is exactly the same as the original op leader. You just want to come to the front here and just bring this whole front grill section down. Like so, that's not the grill, it's the, uh, the bumper. Bring the bumper section down, take the smokestacks, and just straighten them out on this hinge. Like so. You want to take the windshield wipers and swing these around. And again, just like I said with the original toy, I, this is hilarious that this is the first Prime I've ever messed with, that the uh, windshield wipers are part of the transformation. It's still... It still amuses me, but you just bring the windshield wipers down, like so. And now we can start doing some of the major steps here. So this section right here, you just, just kind of pull that back to untab it, bring that up, and you just kind of bring that panel back. And then you just pull that back to untab it, just bring that up, bring that back. Once you've done that, you just want to take these sections here and just unpeg them, and that will allow you to bring this whole section up like so. And we can just work on this bit right here. While we're at it, you can 
rotate all of this around, make sure his head gets out of the way there. Rotate all that around, and you want to flip these down, flip this in, flip that down, flip that in, and then take this section here, bring that up. That will allow these two panels to come down. Just bring that down. You can bring this little peg up like so. And we can pretty much leave that alone. So now you want to open up this section here. Just bring those out. And you're going to take this entire assembly on either side and just swing it up. Swing it up like so. And before we finish any of this, now we have to work on the lower body. So. You want to untab the legs and they will just swing down and around. Straighten that out. Swing that down and around. Straighten that out. Uh, we can take these sections here and just bring this up and shift this up and just swing all of this around. Just bring that up so you have the clearance. Swing all of this around like so. At this point, you want to take this whole section here the hips are on, slide these up, slide it up, slide it up, and we can open these panels up, take these bits here, and bring them around like so. Bring them around like so, and this will all come down, and this will tab in to his butt like that. And then these panels here will just peg in right here at the sides, plug it in, plug it in, and then we just bring down the crotch panel, that will tab in right up front, also tab in right up in here, and there you go, he has a completed crotch and butt plate, hooray for butt plates. So, now we can work on the legs, so you just want to take this panel here, just bring that up, it's spring loaded, so it'll just pop itself right into place, bend the knee here and bring this little section down like so, so you can bring this panel up and then you're just going to swing all this up, swing it around and then just slide it up like so, and then you can just close all that up, bring that up and you got that. So now take this panel and flip that up, bring that out to the side and untab all of this, like so. Take this section here, bring that down and around. I'm going to take this bit here, bring it down, rotate, bring it in. You want to bring up his foot, like so, and you also want to take the foot and slide it over, like that. You want to take this whole panel here and unhook it from the side, just bring it out like so and swing it over to the other side, and it'll just hook in like that, and straighten it out, and voila. Once you do all that, you can just take all of this, swing it up, this will tab in right up here, like that. Then you just tab in this front panel, tab in this back panel, bring that up, that'll tab in there, and there you have a leg. All done, second verse is just like the first. And now he has two legs, hooray for legs, or as Rambo would say, legs! Anyway, so, <laughs> I don't know. But now we're going to work on his midsection here. So you want to bring these bits out, bring this down. These sections will swing up like so. Then you take this whole midsection here, rotate it around, and then you're going to take this, bring it up, Fold these side panels in, bring this the rest of the way up, slide that down, and that will lock into place. And uh, just a friendly reminder, if you never saw the original uh, version of this toy, this does lock in place. So when you're going into truck mode, there is this little, little gray switch right here. You just want to slide that over. It's a little hard to kind of get to it, but you slide it over, and that will undo that. So you can slide that up. So that's a locking mechanism for that. So, a little FYI there. A little refresher course. But anyway, once you've done all that, we can now work on 
his arms and his sides there. So just bring the arm out. You want to bring these sections out. You have clearance to bring the shoulder around like so. You want to open up this little spring-loaded clip right here and that will come in and lock that in place. And we can just kind of bring this down just about halfway for now. And the second verse is the same as the first. Just bring that out, bring these out, and just swing the shoulder in. And again, just undo, open up that little spring-loaded clip, like so. And then just bring this down some, like that. And once you've done that, let me take this back panel section, bring it down, bring it down. This square peg is going to go into that square hole. And that will just tab in right there, like that. And we're getting to the home stretch here. So now, you bring these sections down. You have a tab that will go in here. You have a tab that will go in there. So basically, you want to get this, this tab lined up first. Just kind of get that in there and get that tabbed in then that should just slide forward tab in right there and then there's a tab that goes right up in here as well and that just kind of situates itself once you have that plugged in so you got the one side and we just do the same on the other side just bring that down and get it all situated up make sure this is not hindering your movement at all get in there get in there there we go, let's tap it in, and just slide that forward, like so, and that should situate itself right there, and you got that all done, so at this point now we can close up his chest, we can take the side view mirrors, and just bring those back, and we're almost there, ladies and a gentleman, so... As far as the arms go, you just want to rotate them around so these TLD tails are facing forward. Open up this panel, flip out the hands, and again, just a refresher course here, in case you didn't see the original. You can see how the hand folds up for transformation to truck mode. You basically want the thumb going behind the index finger there like that. So I just open up his hands there and just have it looking a bit more proper-like. And then you just close up that panel, flip up this little panel, there you go, take the smokestack, just slide that in, and you got that all done, second verse again, just like the first, you just rotate it around, bring that down, flip out the hands, flip out the hands, open the hands, close the hands, flip up the panel, flip up the panel, we'll make a little song out of it, why not, <laughs> and just collapse that smokestack in, and the last thing we're going to do now is a form of the head. So we just turn the head around and bring up his little, uh, his little horns here, his little ears. I don't know what they are. I just call them horns. But you have this little panel here. You just bring that back and just take the top of his head and just angle it back. Bring it down. And there you go. There you have TE01B, Op Leader. AKA Nemesis Prime in his robot mode. And that is a Nemesis Prime looking all Nemesis y as it should. But yeah, looks quite good. So let's get in close here so we can take a look not at his belly, at his noggin. Now, as you can see, I do have the original head on him. You can see very nicely done. You can see the face done in a gun. Metal gray there, nice metallic red there for the eyes. It's over there for the head crest. We're looking quite, quite good. Got some transclearing teal plastic there for those details there. As you can see, very clean, very cartoony. We got some silver here on the shins. Again, I, I love this figure because it's such a clean transformation. That's just, look at that. That's just, that's just squeaky clean. Love it. Love it. Now, articulation-wise, the head can do a full 360. He can look up. He can look down a little bit. Arms can rotate a full 360. They can move in and out. You have bicep rotation. 
You have over 90 degrees of a bend at the elbow. You do have wrist rotation. Uh, the thumb is on a hinge at the base as well as a hinge right there. The index finger is on a hinge at the base as well as a hinge there. And the other three fingers are just one piece with a hinge at the base and a hinge there. You can get a good, good point, good point going on. What's that? What's going on there? I don't know. So you can do that if you want. And moving along, we do have waist rotation. Uh, these panels will move out of the way, as well as these side panels will move up a little bit to accommodate the leg movement. Legs can move forward that far, can move back that far. Outward, you can pretty much do the full splits. Um, you do have, you don't have thigh rotation, but you have rotation right above the knee. You have over 90 degrees of bend at the knee itself. And the feet, you do have a toe joint here, so they can move up a little bit. Uh, slight bit of downward movements, and you have a pretty good ankle tiltage there. Now, as far as accessories in robot mode goes, he does come with his rifle. You can see he just cast in black with some silver there on the back. It does have the light up feature. Uh, the battery compartment is right here. It takes uh, two LR41 batteries, which are not included. You will have to get those yourself, but you can get them cheap on Amazon. And you just push the little white switch up top and boop, has a nice bright red LED that goes off in there. So you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew and bang bang. And he can obviously hold this and it's the typical tab in the slot of the palm method of a weapon holding and just make sure his fingers actually go around the handle here wrap his fingers around it and there you go light that up pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang so hey you got that going on and he does include his energon axe done in that nice blood red trans clearance plastic and this connects by opening up that panel and basically just folding the hand back into the arm. So again, you want the thumb tucked underneath the index finger like that. Then that just folds right in and you close that back up. What's going on here? There we go. And you have this little post right there and this just clips right over it like so. And you can't rotate it as you can see. So now he has his ax and his gun, so you can pew pew slash slash, pew pew slash slash. So, you got all of that going on right now. And of course you can open up his chest. You can see that detailing in there. Nicely painted with that blood red, some teal, some silver. And we can open up this panel here to reveal the dark tricks. That's what I call it. It's the Dark Tricks. You can call it whatever crazy made-up name you want to. I call it the Dark Tricks. But anyway, I always need my spudger to get it out because it's really in there. Like, really, really in there. There we go. Just pop that out. And there is the Dark Tricks. Right there. Done in silver. And a gunmetal gray with the red jewel there in the center. So that's pretty cool. So, you have that going on as well. And the last accessory that is included is the replacement head. Now this is the original head that I decided to leave on there, but it does also come with the, uh, with the, uh, the what I call the MP44 head, because that's exactly what it looks like. You can see again, done in those same nemesis -y colors, and the heads are easy to swap out. You just undo that screw in the back, take the head apart, bloody bloody bloody, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But there you have the two heads, and you have options, and as always, options are good. So there you have that, and now for comparison, here he is with MP10. As you can see, how oh, that works out. And here he is with the original op leader. Again, as you can see, the main difference is just in the coloration. Obviously, I had the two separate heads on them, but all in all, same toy. And this is something you can do if you plan on getting both of these figures. I think it's a nice way to uh, differentiate the two. You know, leave the original head on one and put the MP44 head on the other or do it vice versa, however you want to do it. But I think it's a nice way to differentiate the two, in my opinion. Anyway, another uh, subtle difference in the molding is that uh, the original version has this little uh, 
kind of divot cut out for a sticker or a decal, whereas the Nemesis version uh, does not have that. It does have a little divot in there. It's just nice and smooth. So that's a very little, uh, little subtle difference there in the molding between the two figures. But there you go. So there you have TE-01B Op Leader. Um, you know, if you like the original version of this figure and you're into Nemesis Primes, well, you know, Transform Element has got you covered. And I'll say the same thing about this figure that I said with the original. You know, if you didn't know any better, you would think this was the obligatory black repaint of MP44, especially if you have this head on it. Um, but yeah, all in all, it's a really cool, really well done figure. So no matter which paint scheme you decide to go with, or if you decide to get both of them, either way, you're going to end up with a really well done cartoony prime on your shelf. So there you go. Now you can get this from a TF Direct. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below. For all your other Transformers needs, you can check out BigBadToyStore.com. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for new reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transform Element TE01B Op Leader. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Home in your face. Ah, Nemesis Prime. Have I told you lately how much I love you? Hmm. Not today. Well, it's a... Well, that, that. it's kind of awkward now, so I won't do it. So tell me, what are you going to do when you see Optimus Prime? The things I will do to him will be unspeakable. Oh, no, 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 please. Speak them, speak them. Here, I'll, uh, I'll help you out. I'm Optimus Prime, and I love being good, and I love pizza bagels. Nom, 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 nom. You die! Ah! No, you are taking this way too seriously! This was just an exercise! Ah! Not the sensitive part! I'll get you, Gadget.